Welcome to this chapter of our course. We will see the honeybee tools and how to create the energy model and to create the energy simulation of your building. Uh, first of all, before I step in all of like the honeybee tools and the uh, like components and all of these tabs that we have here, I will explain like what is honeybee, what does it do, and what is the output that it gives me. Uh, to do that, I am using for now the sample files that are already downloaded with the Ladybug Tools folder, the one that we downloaded uh, at the beginning. So if I go to samples, if I go to Honeybee Energy, I will see like all of these uh, different files and scripts that are already uh, pre-done and you can just like take them and adapt them to your project and use them uh, in your work. But uh, for me to show you uh, the main examples, I'm going to use this one, single family energy model. And it has a Rhino file, which is this one, single family. So if you open the Rhino file here and you open this Grasshopper file uh, here, you will have this view. So as we see, it is uh, like a very simple, I'm going to minimize this. It is a very simple model that you can also like uh, hide the roof and you can like see that you have windows as you can see here. Like if I select them, you have these windows. And there is these zones, which are like the rooms, each room uh, by itself. Uh, and so, so, and of course, this shade, the roof, as we can see. So it's a very basic um, mass, like a very simple one single family uh, house that is like has the entrance from one side and has like a pool and like a backyard with all the windows on the uh, other side. So if I come to this grasshopper file, I can see that it is uh, organized in like in a very specific way, like an obvious way that you have uh, set up the model uh, at one part. You have like the uh, EPW, the weather file in one part and like some other files. Uh, and there is this simulation component that this is like the, the does that all of the work, the energy model simulation. And after that, I can see how I can deal with the output uh, and like the result that I'm having. So I'm going to show like very basically how to like, set up the model or what does it mean to set up the model. Uh, it means that it's taking geometry from Rhino. So when I select this, it's just a normal geometry, which are uh, all of these boxes in Rhino. So what it does is like it's taking this normal geometry like Rhino surface geometry which is like very basic uh, surface box or so and it's turning it into a honeybee language surface. So it's like a surface that is a honeybee surface. It's a very different from uh, the uh, the, the normal surfaces and the normal uh, objects that we're working here in Rhino, it's, it's like translating it to a language or to a surface that Honeybee can uh, understand and can simulate. So this is uh, what set upping the model means. Uh, you uh, introduce the surface of the rooms, you introduce the surface of the uh, openings, and if you have shades, uh, and so so and your building kind of model so this is the model that we're making it's an honeybee model as we see hp model the uh, that it has the rooms with the honeybee geometry the faces of the honeybee geometry the shades if we have shades honeybee shades and honeybee doors and like everything have to be translated already translated like these ones from normal geometry to honeybee geometry. So this is what uh, the first step should be. This is what we are going to see how to build and how to set up the model 
in the next uh, video. After we created the model, uh, of course, we because we have to show like what is the area that we are working in. So we're using the weather file, the EPW file that we used earlier. And we are kind of like setting some parameters of the output that we are requesting. So we can do all of these kind of uh, output. We can ask for it. But for now, uh, only three are requested. So this is, these are the main three things that we can see. One, set up in the model, the geometry. Two, the weather file. Three, what output do you want? And this is what the energy simulation engine needs. So it's taking all of these uh, values. Uh, just before stepping to the output, I will uh, show you something that since it's like a very specific kind of geometry here uh, because of as we said we translated it from a normal geometry to a honeybee geometry so if i want to view this geometry it will not view it so if i let me hide everything here and if i want to view my geometry by itself it will not view it it will need a visualization uh, tool that is uh, already installed with honeybee so this is the one that is showing the the model now or these colors that is showing that that was a, a window and that was a door or something this is the visualization tool and if let me hide this and whatever i try to show with the normal uh, model or like these rooms or these surfaces that i'm uh, like identifying or these windows i'm identifying it will not show anything until i use a visualization tool so that what i meant by it has like a specific a kind of geometry that is a honeybee geometry so this visualization tool will take this honeybee geometry and uh, show it as normal uh, mesh so yeah this is the uh, visualization tool now with the output of the simulation so what is the output of this simulation so it's actually like giving some like sql kind of data uh, that we can't read directly it, we will need some uh, translator also like a component that translate from this SQL data to uh, all of the data that we need. So now it's giving us, as we can see here, cooling, heating, lighting, electricity, and all these other loads and like building usage uh, of like each part by itself. So this is what the energy simulation gives me all of these loads of usage in the building. So let's say I want to view, let me open this and zoom on it. So what I am looking at here, this component actually is like the same component that we used earlier in Ladybug tools, which is this one the hourly plot it's just like a basic diagram so this is what it is and we are trying to show uh, what kind of data that we have for example here it's like not very uh, useful but let me see what is the cooling look like in this building and it's giving me uh, this kind of chart because it's showing that uh, at these areas at these hours of the year uh, you don't use any cooling so because th these are like cold uh, months in this area and uh, we should notice that the file or the weather that is calculated in uh, as it's in california burbank so this is the uh, default that comes with this file so in this area it means that at these months it's kind of cold you don't need to run any cooling so as we see here all of these 
are zero uh, energy spent on cooling but in the mid months like uh, july august and september and of course in the uh, midday kind of like in the pre-noon or afternoon you can see that you are spending some uh, kilowatts or can some energy on cooling so this is what uh, this tool is showing me and if i plug the heating to see like what are the heating loads i'm using so it's sh showing like kind of the opposite at these cold months i am needing heating like i'm heating these hours especially in the night hours and yeah he these months too but uh, in the middle where is like summer and especially in the uh, midday noon and afternoon i am not heating anything in uh, my building so this also like a very useful thing that you will need like or this is like the result of the energy uh, simulation that you run and it also like tells you like each hour by itself as we mentioned earlier so in this uh, diagram each one of these is like the vertical thing is like one day and each one of these data here is like one hour in the day so from here start from 0 uh, a.m and goes to all the night to the midday and again to zero uh, in the midnight so this is like day by day uh, the hourly plot so uh, it says that each of these squares you are spending kind of eight kilowatts uh, on these hours so it also like shows you like how much and when you are spending energy in your building so you are spending energy for heating uh, this building so we saw the cooling earlier we saw the heating we can see the lighting the lighting is kind of uh, basic because it has a program of like a house so in the house uh, it assumes that you're using the the house in between like 6 p.m and uh, 10 p.m so all of the lighting is like um, mostly used at that hours uh, for example the midday in the noon you don't have any lighting because it's uh, like you can use the daylight uh, and these hours you're like sleeping so this is how the program of the building is contributing to this uh, energy simulation electric equipment if you have like uh, some like again it's assuming that your like most of the electricity equipment usage is at these hours which are like after 5 pm we have like hot water we have uh, people gain again it's assuming that in the midday yeah, people are like out for work or school or so the building is empty uh, and in the night hours uh, the people are heating or like being heat source inside the building so this is the people heat gain we have a very interesting thing here the solar gain the it is a very very important thing like how much energy that we are using or like gaining from the sun into our places so it's showing that uh, it's mostly gaining sun radiation or sun power from the uh, like afternoon like at the afternoon hours which means like uh, from the western facade so this is uh, like something that you can use in your design and change the design accordingly according to like how to maximize solar gain for example to put like solar solar panels and so so all of these data here are like uh, shown uh, as we see like it can be shown in uh, diagrams in hourly plot and uh, in addition to that we can use different component to see what is the the total energy consumption of this building so as we saw we were like analyzing this building here so how much energy per the whole year i am spending so it's saying that you are spending uh, 200 kilowatts per one square meter so 
I can say that this building is about like, I don't know, 70, 80 square meters. And it's about like 200 kilowatts per square meter. So if you multiply that, 200 per multiplied by 80. So I can see that I am spending 16,000 kilowatts, 16,000 kilowatts uh, on the on my building in the whole year so this is an annual uh, value so this i can uh, expect or calculate how much energy i'm going to be using for the whole year and i can uh, say then after that i can afford for example half of it from uh, solar panels or half of it from uh, like other uh, renewable source and then i can pay only like half of this energy for the uh, electricity that coming from the city so this is something that uh, you can consider uh, by seeing all of these values and here you can see also like the usage of these electricity so in total i can see like 200 uh, kilowatts per one square meter but uh, what is the use of this 200 you can see that like almost 100 is spent for heating uh, 33 is spent for cooling and other equipment so you have a water system you have electric equipment and like which is like including the the lighting and the uh, other devices uh, and so so the most like or the biggest load here uh, is coming from the heating and uh, th this is how you understand how much this building spends and this way using this energy model that you have here you can change something in your design you can uh, change the mass the form the openings you can uh, change the materials here in in this model and then rerun the simulation to see how much that affects your energy use and then you try to reduce uh, this like, energy use and make your building more energy efficient and more money saver.